This is it. The last episode of FBS. Aren't you guys excited? Oh, yeah. Wait, this is the last one? This is the... Well, kind of. <laughs> Almost. Uh, I'm... I'm 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 here today with uh, Flox and Biskulhausen. Uh, why don't you guys uh, say hello? Hello. Hi. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is technically the last uh, the last episode of FPS, uh, but we're not necessarily finished. Well, I guess we'll never be finished. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, I was I wasn't done. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, great. Because uh, we have uh, one more uh, one more round, I guess, uh, in terms of uh, building things uh, here at the airport. As uh, I'm sure you probably heard from the last couple episodes, we've been uh, uh, announcing that we're going to be doing a final live stream for, you know, sort of putting the, the icing on this uh airplane cake <laughs> Just, i don't know that i don't know why i went that direction but um so uh next uh saturday uh so no no more episodes after this one but next saturday on uh, flux's channel uh we're all gonna get together in one big room at uh, flux plex studios in uh, salt lake city utah <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're yeah. actually yeah we're, it's that's confirmed we already got the tickets and everything um, and we're going to be streaming the whole day, basically. We're going to start in the morning. And uh, the details to all of that, uh, well, um, I think we, we pretty know, I'm sorry. We pretty much know we're going to be streaming in the morning. We don't know exactly when, but uh, please do follow us on Twitter and uh, just uh, subscribe to Flux primarily so that you're notified <laughs> when we go live. Please do. <laughs> please do. Pretty please do. Um, <laughs> But uh, we're going to be tackling the last uh, couple projects that uh, are yet to be completed. Uh, the most important one will be Terminal 3, which has been uh, neglected by everyone <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, for, for a little bit. Um, and uh, we also need the control tower. I know I've been, I've been getting so many comments about the lack of uh, control tower. <laughs> Me we too. mentioned that a couple times before. We're going to do that at the very end. Mm -hmm. um, in this episode, however, uh, I'm going to be finishing the cargo area. It took, uh, let me actually do the math here because uh, I was just, I had an insane weekend. So I started, uh, the, the hour count on Steam when I started was uh, uh, nine, uh, nine, 1,960. And I'm sitting right now at uh, 1,995. 1, wow, I can't English today. I do apologize for that. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's been it's been quite uh, quite the episode. Almost forty hours into this one, it's been kind Jeez. of insane. That's uh, insane. And to be honest, I could keep going and add more 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 things, but I had to stop because uh, giving our schedules, we're we're really close to not. Our buffer is pretty much done. It's uh, gone. Yeah, there's yeah, it's over. We're recording this the Monday before this episode should go live, but we made it, guys. Like kudos. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm really like impressed that we managed to not miss a single upload like we did every single episode there's been an fps every single week on fridays since we started like, that's pretty yeah. cool and for a peek behind the curtain we've had no more than like a two-week buffer for the past for a like, while six yeah. weeks <laughs> yeah we, like were, we... we were planning on being so far ahead and we were so far ahead in the beginning but it's just it's hard to you know yeah. stick with it it's been a, a lot of this by the seat of our pants yeah no doubt pretty much um so let me let me talk to you about what I'm doing right here on the screen. So the first uh, things that I did sort of uh, on the on the outskirts of the airport actually um, uh, we had some traffic issues. Uh, there's been some new connections to this whole r road network that we have uh, by the cargo area and the new the brand new uh, parking uh, long term parking uh, area that uh, Jay put together in the last episode and there were a lot of cars and trucks trying to go to this massive uh, what is it called? The uh, the funeral home uh, that uh, Flux put together. Uh, uh, yes. It's a pretty popular destination, apparently. Uh, there was a <laughs> huge conga line uh, of, of cars uh, going there. So I tweaked uh, that area a little bit and decided to put some trees to make it all nice. So that's what you saw at the beginning of the episode. Um, so I guess instead of getting ahead of myself, I'm a little bit behind of what I did. Uh, I spent uh, quite a bit of time here just uh, adding the proper security entrances to basically every access to the runway areas. In fact, I was tweeting this the other day, which, oh man, I, I can't believe we didn't know this uh, beforehand. But did you know that the Dublin airport has street view coverage like on the runway areas and the ramp and everything else? Yeah, that's With so cool. I didn't know that either until you told me. Like. Just, I wish we'd have known that. Yeah. Just, just in time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
Um, so but uh, I mean, even for this one was actually pretty useful. I, I, I took uh, a lot of inspiration from there. In fact, another airport that I've been looking at, because you know, doing a cargo area, I started thinking, okay, which is the, you know, an airport that uh, it's pretty heavily focused on cargo, that uh, could be a, you know, a good source of uh, not only inspiration but also like you know facts. Uh, and uh, so I was looking at Anchorage. And um, oh. I noticed that uh, there's a, they have like a civil aviation wing to the airport that actually there's like roads that go through it and they have street views. So uh, you can like literally drive through like a, a tiny taxiway uh, for a little bit. And I thought it was, it was pretty funny. Uh, obviously, the, the airport is gated. You can't get in, but. Right. Is this, sorry, I didn't mean to like jump, no, I just wanted before do. we get too far away from it. Is that, um, you mean Anchorage, like Anchorage, Alaska? Alaska, yeah. Okay. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's one of the big, um, one of the big hubs for like FedEx, I think, too, right? Or UPS or something. I think all of them, to be honest. Yeah, yeah the one I was, they all go through there. From the one I was looking uh, at is uh, UPS, but uh, I think uh, FedEx uh, has uh, a big uh, presence there as well. Mm -hmm. uh, all the flights from Asia sort of go through there, or at least right. uh, yeah. big chunk of them um in this case uh since i had uh, i realized that i sort of miscalculated the size of this uh of this part um and i realized that i had a bit of a longer distance between the actual taxiway that connects all these uh, cargo areas and the buildings and i did a little bit of adjusting and i figured out that i could put uh these types of uh of gates uh where they're a bit of a, at an angle and I checked the wingspans of everything, and everything sort of fits nicely. Uh, it's kind of uh, tight, and I thought it was an interesting design. There is something like this going on in uh, in Anchorage, actually. Um, and I'm. Uh, it's pr also probably worth pointing out that every time someone, and I've been getting a lot of comments from the previous video that I did, that um, the some things weren't super realistic. <laughs> Uh, that I did uh, actually I can't remember exactly what everyone was complaining about in the previous episode But oh, yeah, the tunnels because I did all those tunnels uh, for the roads underneath the uh, taxiways and stuff like that That is actually uh, everything that you see that I do on the screen It's I basically copied it from an airport that exists in real life So if the airports in your area don't necessarily have that doesn't mean that no airports around the world do have things like that Just so you know <laughs> um, in fact uh, and this is for Jay. <laughs> I've, someone has actually sent me a link uh, to an airport in uh, Germany that has a train connection for freight and all that. So I guess I should have left that there. <laughs> that's that's the exception that proves the rule. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, you can always find like the the thing specifically that will justify your, what you do. The fact that it was one single small airport in Germany. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm, it's... I'm okay with what I said. I stand by it. All right, <laughs> good. <laughs> um, so changing uh, the design here a little bit, uh, I decided to have this uh, mix between uh, pavement and the uh, concrete uh, props that we've been using. Oh, by the way, prop count is 55,000? No, it's actually 61,000 at the end of this episode. Wow. I, I went a little prop heavy on this one. I thought, That's okay, you though. know, since yeah, this was well. last episode-ish, we could we could go a little crazier here. Um, but uh, yeah, what I wanted to, to do here is sort of mix uh, these uh, materials together because uh, obviously where the planes sit, they're usually concrete because uh, I think they can withstand the weight a bit better. But uh, taxiways are usually you know made out of uh, just uh, regular pavement um, and uh, they have all these like odd shapes and this took me a while to, to do. In fact, I, I think I ended, ended up spending like 40 hours in this episode because I went back and forth all the time with these designs. I deleted... Oh man, you have no idea how many times I deleted this thing and rebuilt it. Um, I sort of decided to leave this certain stages um, of, of it, just uh, just so you can see the the development and the progress of things. They all have these weird shapes, almost as if they were like ripped apart from one material to another, or like uh, mm -hmm. cut in like weird ways. And uh, and the layering of props also is a thing that sort of drove drove me nuts. Um, at, at some point, I wanted to sort of connect all these uh, plane stands with the uh, with the yellow lines that uh, you know the, the planes can follow. But that's really not 100% necessary. And I know, and I've noticed this a lot in, in, in the airports that I've been surveying uh, to to put this uh, episode together. That uh, in many areas they have like half of these uh, gates will actually have 
uh, lines connecting things. And I know we talked about this in previous episodes too, mm -hmm. but uh, it's probably worth repeating because it will look a really, really odd if, if I don't mention it. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, some some do have connections, some, some others uh, don't in the same area even because they're probably built at different times, uh, you know, throughout the many years. Mm -hmm. Uh, also, here on this corner, trying to take advantage of every sort of nook and cranny to fit more planes, <laughs> as many as I could. Uh, at, the, at this stage, we only have two, actually we have three set of cargo planes. Uh, Jay, do, do you want to expand on that? <laughs> three. There are only two. Oh, three. Yes, you're correct. We have a 747 Morita uh, and oh. two... Yeah. No, right? we have lots of different Morita planes. There are like five or six Morita planes. Wait, really? Uh, yeah. Oh. I thought it was only two. Okay, anyway. I only used two then. Oops. <laughs> well, um, I, I'm making more cargo planes for this. I never really anticipated, if we have I guess. Time, right? If we have time, yeah. So that's mm -hmm. like my first priority to get assets and things made for the stream is obviously the, uh, the control tower, which yes. is, I think, a bigger, a bigger thing to miss than a variety of cargo <laughs> jets. Uh, but yeah, I've actually, luckily, I already have all of these planned out because I've been adding the new airlines and things slowly to all the uh, plane packs and things. So I've got cargo airlines planned. I just need to make them on the old templates because uh, I was actually planning on getting all of the airplanes done in the month of February. And <laughs> you can see how that one went. It's going to be nice. It was going to fit really nicely right after the end of our six episode series, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that obviously didn't happen. It's going to be like September, and I haven't even released two updates yet. Can you? Uh, but oh, I was yeah. just going to ask you if you can tell me more about those Morita planes. Like, which which ones do we have? Ah, well, we have obviously the big 747 yes. uh, freighter. We have an MD11 slash DC10 sort of thing. It's like part part of both the trijet, which I always think is just a really cool look. And of course they're only used for cargo nowadays. So trying mm -hmm. to get that, every plane is just two engines and the fuselage now, just two engines under the wing or almost every plane. So I really like getting to use variety. So it's like the cargo planes being able to have big four engine 747s and three engine DC 10s and everything is just, I can't, can't go without that. So we have uh, some DC-10s, we've got the 747s. Uh, I think Morita flies 767 freighters and 757 freighters as well. Hmm. Uh, just for different, differently sized things, I guess. Morita is based on FedEx, obviously, um, just by the color scheme. But for the fleet, because it was my only cargo airline for a long time, uh, I took the UPS's 747s as well, just because it's such a cool look. Uh, and they've actually got a nose door textured on them, but because it's the same model as the passenger one, you can't tell. But uh, yeah, so there's a lot, kind of some cool stuff going you, on in you there. You know what I think happened is, I, I think I searched Morita. You can actually see at the bottom of the screen right now. And I, for some reason, I, I thought Morita also had like a passenger, like nope, area kind of, uh, not area, but like a fleet. Hmm. Yeah. That. That. I think that's okay. Whatever. We'll. We'll add more variety we during the live yeah, stream. Exactly. It yeah. Shouldn't be. It shouldn't be bad. That's what's nice. It's really easy. I've. In fact, like changing planes is so easy. I've changed some planes just for cinematics. I've been like, nah. I want a different variety. Which Why is not nice. leave them there forever? Because uh, I want different ones for cinematics. Like I want a purple one to catch the light better or something like that. Oh. Oh. I wow. See. Yeah. But like, if it if it catches the light better for cinematics, wouldn't it catch light better for everything else too? Well, it doesn't belong at that terminal. Oh, oh I see. I'm just I like, see. Yeah, I'll sub this one in just for now. Okay, with not... the fake cinematics over here. That's yeah. right. It's all okay. fake. <laughs> it's all fake. Everything is fake. Yeah, pretty oh, much. Oh, here's our here's our prop count exposed. Found oh it. yeah, this is just the beginning. Yeah, just wait until I add some of these. Uh, oh my what, God. what are they called? Like the ones uh, those flat carts that have like the tiny tiny wheels that can slide. All these uh, uh, like a dolly. Yeah, no, it's not a dolly. It's I mean oh, I don't know if dolly, it, maybe though, it's called like, like that, but you'll see it's it like in a, a pallet, second. Pallet dolly or something. Kind of, yeah, little yeah, pallet yeah, cart. You, I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. You'll see it in just a yeah. second. I added a shit ton of those. Sorry, my part of my, <laughs> my French. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's it's been kind of crazy. Also decals. Uh, oh, one thing. Uh, I'm actually getting ahead of myself again, but I'm gonna be adding a lot of decals in certain areas, like soon so stay tuned for that that that, yeah. that was also huge that was like three thousand props just in like five in seconds decals. That I put in. yeah yeah um, it's nice it's nice being able to 
to use all of these because I've always been scared of using too many props because I'm like, uh oh, we're we don't know when this is gonna end. But now that we do, yeah, we can do it. We're we're it's yeah. I was gonna say like we're safer, which felt like the wrong thing to say, but yeah, I think it's about right. Like it's a safer thing to do now because we know that. Oh yeah. I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm using 10,000 props this episode, so sorry, you're not going to be able to build X, Y, or Z. Like, we're, we're pretty much done. These things, right? Yeah, this is what I'm, yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh. But, I mean, I was as you were saying that, I'm thinking, like, okay, the last couple projects that we need to work on are also kind of insane <laughs> So uh, yeah. in terms of props. So yeah. we might have to come back and, and do some optimization, maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. I mean, are they that insane though? Like we have terminal three, which is probably going to be like a decent amount, but we our, our past terminals have been what like six hundred, like like a thousand maybe. I think it depends on the decals. Now that we have network decals uh, and like yeah. lines and things like that, I think it's, it's a lot less. Yeah, we can do better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, one thing I've noticed uh, from a few of these airports is that uh, sometimes in between the warehouses and the actual plane stands, they have uh, walls and fences that are not really like protecting anything uh, in terms of like they're not like enclosed or anything like that. Hmm. But I think uh, they're mostly used because there's like people that drive in and out of the airport, uh, you know, like uh, truck drivers and things like that, that uh, may not necessarily have uh, experience driving in, you know, hot areas if, if you will so i think they just use walls like that to sort of uh prevent cars from driving into areas where they're not supposed to so i did my best to sort of uh, align those with uh, uh with the fence and the and the walls and also add a decal so that it's like clearly marked that hey you're about to enter on the freeways on the sorry on the freeways on the runways or taxiways so be careful also, I noticed that some airports have containers, not all of them, so I didn't go too crazy with them. But uh, since we have a whole set of Merida things, I really, really wanted to use them. No. Uh, <laughs> they look, they look great. I think these are all Avanias, if not, if not mistaken. Yep. Even the, these uh, trailer trucks. Yeah. Oh, um, Merida is cool. my brand, but Avania reached out to me and she was doing all the containers, so I'm like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I wish I there were more, more things uh, branded City Skylines. Uh, there's a whole bunch of brands actually that she mm -hmm. uh, came up with. There's a yeah, collection that, that we have linked to our main collection that has. All kinds of trucks that are like generic looking uh, brands that are not, you know, real life ones, which is sort of the theme we're going for. Even though we have a few UPS trucks here and there or <laughs> USPS, uh, actually. Um, yeah. So, you know, there's really no way to avoid all the real brands, uh, but uh, we're, we're doing our best. But those we're avoiding most those those containers, the texturing is like really, really good. Yeah, like I'm, I'm just admiring mm -hmm. that. Like those are some of the best containers I've seen, I think, for, for custom. And I love the color too. It looks really nice, but awesome job on that. Well, wow, those look really, really good. Yeah. I um, I added uh, all kinds of containers on the other. So, he, okay, so here's the thing. We were talking about this just off camera. Since uh, uh, at this point in time, we only have two sets of, of planes. The idea here is if somehow we can we can get the, the other planes, that would be awesome. But if not, the way I laid them down is, uh, so I guess Merida not only has their own, you know, cargo terminal and their own planes and their own like shipping trucks and everything else but uh they also have an, an excess i guess of planes uh so they can serve all their smaller companies so you can see that uh, all the other marita planes that are parked right there on this uh on this other terminal is going to start featuring uh, containers and trucks of other colors as well so in my mind they were like outsourcing it to other shipping companies that maybe can't afford to have their own fleet of planes but they're still have a lot of trucks so kind of like what amazon is doing right now as they're leasing planes but instead of having their own library they just have maritas uh, oh interesting in case. I didn't know that. do you know the strict toaster planes were originally based off of the uh the amazon i think you told me that job? yeah yeah which well, is fun because now that i get to do a new paint job for those i get to i have that livery back oh yeah that's that's happening I can right go back technically yeah yeah, so that's the last the last thing i want to get done for the finale is i want to show off the new strict toaster livery for the live stream. Yeah, that's the only reason why I haven't updated the intro with the new planes. <laughs> and not because I really don't want to do it. <laughs> well, uh, and that airport. Yeah, I mean, oh my God, that airport. I guess it'd be is easier so now because you'd be able to record on actually FPS. You actually, yeah, you actually, you're. 100 percent correct in fact i still i think i have the template and everything but uh, i don't yeah i don't want to get people's uh, hopes super high up because yeah. i don't think we're gonna update the, the intro that uh, that intro is not anything you've seen built at fbs 
Yeah, that in case was, you didn't know, that's just yeah, it's a up. dummy airport. Oh yeah. yeah. If yeah, I show yeah. you that airport, actually, it's just like five buildings, and I put the camera <laughs> really, really close uh, yeah. to the thing. The taxiway, I think, gives it away. It's just like a really thin, narrow taxiway. Yeah, it's oh, a vanilla man. one. So bad. I think it's funny is when you built that, we were like, man, are we going to be able to keep that level of detail up for a whole airport? <laughs> like, I remember oh like when you sent that to us, we're like, that looks awesome. But geez, that's going to be so much work. And now we're like, <laughs> every time we record, we look when the intro plays, we're just like, that looks like trash now. We've done such a much better <laughs> job. It's Yeah. I mean, so. if, if, we were to, if we were to start this project from scratch, I'm sure we would do a lot of things differently. I mean, that's usually how it happens. That's how it always uh, goes. Yeah. And uh, you get better on every on every build, on every project, on every tiny thing that you do on, yep. on on your project. So that's that's I've been getting a lot of comments, and I'm sure you do too, of like, oh, like I wish I could build things like that. But I mean, dude, I'm I'm not gifted or anything like that. I'm just like yeah. I did this a lot. I did this for like two thousand hours almost. In fact, Flux, you're already yep. over two thousand. We're both yep. there, yeah. And it just yeah. literally, it's just like practice and iterations like yeah. every project you you do things differently and you find new ways to do things and then you just kind of you know go from there pretty one much. thing that we we i do want to point out is that it's fantastic this is my first time on a big project working with you guys so i've never had stuff made for me before i guess like i always usually need to make my own assets and it's been unbelievable having the support from some of the creators oh absolutely other people that are helping us out here Oh, that uh, yeah, that reminds yeah, me. Exactly. We should give a huge shout out to Vasmir. He's been insane. Yeah, with yep. the incredible. Yeah, yeah. So from that he gave us Vasmir from the very start. Uh, Mobius One for some of the networks that we yes, asked for absolutely. bad idea as well. It's just been like previously when I needed something, I'd be like, hey, can I can I ask real quick? And just like, don't worry about it. And I've had a couple things for Gramercy set up, but like this has been, I think, because of everybody helping us here we've been able to like advance the state of the art of city skylines airports mm -hmm. just in terms of assets like it hasn't just been because we've been building stuff it's been because we've been allowed to build stuff because now we have so many awesome new assets and things that we can use absolutely by the by the way didn't uh, exist before yeah the, i was just gonna say the links uh to those amazing asset creators will be in the description of this video so you can check out their workshop and yeah you're gonna be once you start browsing their stuff you're gonna be like oh i want to build an airport like right now yeah. uh that's how good they are <laughs> um over here by the way i started rerouting some of the fences and i did a lot of work off camera before i started the episode too uh i don't know who worked on the fences but uh, they were all a little bit wonky <laughs> so i Whoops. And, and the service roads a little bit so i i, I spent some times like straightening things out uh i mean for the most part they, they are where they used to be but i i just instead of like uh, i noticed that some of the uh fences were like contouring around buildings i just went for like a straight line because i figured when they bought the land, they just they just bought like they just square bought the whole thing. plots of yeah. land. Yeah, uh, but uh, other than that, it's everything is pretty much where it was. In fact, right here, this this uh, little nook that um, Jay put together, um, I think there was just a fence going across this road. So I ended up putting a, t a tiny little uh, gated entrance with a security guard. Um, it was an implied gate. <laughs> or wait, was was that like a canceled kind of gate? Sort of thing? No, it was implied. Uh, she was okay, like, this was, probably definitely wasn't a gate in this chain too lazy. <laughs> I see. The, these are the 3,000 props. In fact, I open up the menu so you can actually see how crazy I go. Oh. <laughs> As I put I, down the, uh, the skid marks. And it looks so good, though. Like, I yeah. love the skid marks. Yeah. Um, by the way, you may notice that some of these uh, runways, they have, like, chunks like this one right here like the color of the picture is different um i was playing with the purple last fall in another <laughs> project so i had to like switch it back there i always now. forget now that like nice, every time yeah. uh, I, I just went for when we started this i'm just like well gramercy has this colored purple last fall now <laughs> basically <laughs> just like, yeah. i'm not changing any of that stuff like the theme mixer is all wrong for gramercy still whenever i go back but like <laughs> oh hey now th now that we're done i can switch it back finally that'll start looking good again for the for the Every, like the two for episodes the quarterly <laughs> episode uh and uh this is uh, where you're looking on the screen right now it's pretty much the final touch as this episode is is almost done if i'm not mistaken i'm just adding lights because uh i did spend some time uh before on the previous episode adding a few lights here and there but uh most of these new cargo areas were pretty uh 
undetailed and of course it didn't have any lights whatsoever so I just decided to put down a few lamps here uh, went for the uh, flux original cones around a light post oh yeah uh, just so that it stays on theme <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna add a hot tub with rocks and just a ah, few seconds here. In now case that's on theme. There that's, you go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And this is pretty much what it looks like. So uh, again, let me just remind you that next uh, week we're gonna be streaming. Uh, make sure to be subscribed to Fox's channel and uh, stay up on all the updates on our Twitter accounts. Uh, again, all those links will be in the description. And uh, we're gonna have some giveaways too, so you definitely don't want to miss that. Uh, don't want to miss that live stream. It's going to be pretty awesome. And uh, I think we're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, any final words uh, you want to say? Subscribe to my channel. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> All right. Perfect. That, that was so deep. Very introspective. I know. <laughs> I'll, I'll be introspective for the stream. Well, uh, if you enjoyed this episode and the whole th series, please consider giving this video a like uh, and share it with friends. Uh, just a full playlist. Uh, but uh, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in the next one. to see you in the next one well there's a live stream or the I next mean, we're, series we're, yeah also we're doing a brand new series didn't flux tell you oh god what yeah a military base we're doing another airport yeah <laughs> oh my god <laughs> can you imagine like what people do for like hey uh, uh airport part two